Hello everyone. Welcome to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I'm your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson we are going to talk about the future perfect tense. Well the future perfect tense is a tense that is not really used very often by people. But if you learn to use this tense properly, I'm sure it will definitely enhance the way you speak English. So what is this future perfect tense? The future perfect tense talks about something that you expect, an action or an event that you expect to be completed within a given time. This is the broad meaning of future perfect tense. You're expecting something. You're expecting a result within a given time. So this is what is future perfect tense. We can use many, many expressions like by, by the time. You can use before, until or till. You can also use other expressions like by then, by the end of or by tomorrow. These are generally the time expressions that you can use with future perfect tense. Now let's look at the structure of this tense. We'll see how it is formed. We use the subject with will have plus the past participle form of the verb. The past participle form of the verb is the third form of the verb. For example, speak is the present form, spoke is the past form and spoken is the past participle form. So every verb has got these forms. So when you want to use the future perfect tense, we use subject with will have plus the past participle form of the verb. This is the affirmative form. And you, when you want to make the negative form, you use it with will not have subject plus will not have plus the past participle form of the verb. And you can also follow it with by or any time expression that is accepted in the future perfect tense. The question is formed. The question form is formed by using will plus subject plus have plus past participle form of the verb. You can add the time expression by. And now let's look at some examples so that you understand it better. I will have started for office by 9 a.m. That means I expect that I will have started by 9 a.m. for office. The second example is, my father will have retired by December. My father will have retired by December. That means December he is expected to retire from service. The next example is, he will have completed his bachelor's degree by next year. So he's in the final year. So next year he is expected to finish his bachelor's degree. He will have completed his bachelor's degree by next year. The next example is mother will have made breakfast by the time the children wake up. Mother will have made breakfast. So she will have completed breakfast or she will have made breakfast before the children wake up. The next example is we will have moved into our new house by the end of this month. That means our house is ready and we are all set to move into the new house. So we say we will have moved into, your new, into our new house by the end of this month. That means you are expecting this beautiful thing to happen. The next, the earth will have become warmer by the next century. Going by how things are now how earth is getting warmer and warmer day by day. You could say the earth will have become warmer by the next century. And the next example is by this time tomorrow, we will have reached Delhi. So you are hoping or expecting that you will have reached Delhi by this time tomorrow. The parcel will, you have, will have reached you by Wednesday. The parcel will have reached you by Wednesday. That means you are saying that, you are saying, to, saying this to someone. You say that the parcel will have reached you. We will not have gone to bed until 11 p.m. Now you are using this 
future perfect tense in the negative form. We will not have gone to bed until 11 p.m. So we will be awake. We expect ourselves to be awake. And the next one, he will not have completed the work by evening. That means we don't expect him to complete the work by evening. We will not have had our dinner by 8 p.m. That means by 8 p.m. We, we will not have completed our dinner. I will not have received my salary until the 10th. So I will not expect my salary before the 10th. And the next one, I will not have saved money, enough money to buy a new car by next year. I will not have saved money to buy a car by next year. That means by next year, I don't expect that I will have money to buy a car. He will not have returned from office until 7 p.m. That means we don't expect him to come home before 7 p.m. Now let's go to the question forms. We also have question forms in the future perfect tense. Let's see how you can make sentences. Will we have completed the syllabus by March? So are you expecting this? Will the fruits have become ripe by next month? Are you expecting the fruits to become ripe by next month? Will the course have ended by next month? Are you expecting that the course will have ended by next month? Will you have got a job by next year? So you have finished your education. So by next year, will you have settled down in a good job? Will the child have started school by next year? Will the shops have closed by 9 p.m.? Look at all these sentences. These are all questions in future perfect tense. So remember the structure of future perfect tenses will have plus the past participle form of the verb. And it's used with time expressions like by, by the time, by the end of, until, before and so on. So you can use this tense and make your language sound more beautiful by using future perfect tense. And I'm sure you have understood all the things that I have taught you. Play the video again and again. Look at the examples. Try to make sentences of your own in affirmative, negative and questions. And I'm sure you will become perfect at it. Perfect at using it. So thank you very much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe to our videos. We'll come back with more very soon. Until then, goodbye.